Sure, there have been people who, you know, took it easy for the next three months or so and didn't lose everything, right? The only time this is going to happen, and Greg does talk about it, and as you'll see, is typically if you're on performance enhancement drugs, you come off the cycle because maybe that's what your doctor requests, and it is a good time to come off when you get into an injury because when you're coming off the cycle... <laughs> What's up guys, Dom here, back again from the Lisa Fit, and we're here with another one. This time, my boy, Greg Doucette, calling out another fake natty in the industry. Let's dive right into it. But guys, like I say before every video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Goal is 10,000 subscribers, we gotta get there. Please, it means the world to me, and it costs you nothing, we're gonna get there together. Subscribe. Greg makes a video. There's this popular YouTuber named Brownie. Weird name. I've never heard of him before, but he's got 2.54 million followers as of when I'm making this video. So he's significantly more popular and influential than I am or probably ever will be. But he does a video on his buddy who tears his bicep and in 100 days loses 10 kilograms of muscle. And yeah, kind of suspicious, but let's take a look at what Greg's saying. Don't you just love it when fake natties out themselves without even realizing it? Well, Brownie's friend Bob lost 10 kilograms, 22 pounds of muscle in only 100 days. This is a guy who trained his entire life, 37 years of age. He looks natural, of course. You're all going to say, Coach Greg, you're wrong. Look at his physique. You can achieve that natural. Well, if you can achieve that natural, can you in fact lose it? naturally. Okay, so Greg brings up an amazing point here. You've been working out your entire life. You're 37 years old. And as you can see, the guy is in fantastic shape. This is the type of shape that most men would kill to look like. And of 100 days of not doing any exercise whatsoever, you're going to lose every ounce and pound of muscle that you've put on over the years. Come on, all right? That doesn't happen. I'm sure there have been people who, you know, took it easy for the next three months or so and didn't lose everything, right? The only time this is gonna happen, and Greg does talk about it, as you'll see, is typically if you're on performance enhancement drugs, you come off the cycle because maybe that's what your doctor requests, and it is a good time to come off when you get into an injury, because when you're coming off the cycle, when you're injured, you're not working out as much, that's most likely what happened. But let's see what he's talking about next. You lost all your muscle that you worked for your entire life, just like that. Do you lose all of the muscle that you built in your entire life in 100 days? Because I'm here to tell you that no one, I repeat, no one is going to lose 10 kilograms of muscle by not working out for 100 days. It's simply not possible. I'm happy that we're finally going to be getting back up, getting a bit bigger for weeks, maybe months. I didn't even look at myself in the mirror. I was just wearing shirts like this. I couldn't cope with it, I think, mentally. Okay, so I know where this guy's coming from a little bit. I actually, last year, it, it was very similar, like almost a little bit over a year ago today, tore my pec. And I couldn't work out for six weeks I couldn't do any upper body. It was only a partial tear, mind you, but I could not do any upper body exercises for six weeks straight. I was only able to work out legs. And within that time, I saw myself put on some fat and lose a lot of my, especially chest muscle, just come right down. And mentally it takes a toll on you. Greg says this guy has body dysmorphia, but you know what, at the end of the day, when you look a certain way, the confidence comes from being more attractive, being that guy. So I completely understand where this guy is coming from because I felt it too. It was very hard. You do go into depressions and things like that. So I get it. I get where this guy is coming from. It sucks. You have to go through it sometimes in order for yourself, for you to get better in the long run. But at the same time, and I will tell you this, I was in a calorie deficit when I tore my chest, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show myself in the video next. 
But even after that, when I came off of the steroids, I was on steroids right before I, saw, I tore my chest. I was on Masteron and testosterone, and I was in a calorie deficit, so I was very lean. I ended up going on a TRT dosage. I lost a little bit of muscle and put on some fat, but I did not lose anywhere near my gains. And the reason for this is I was doing leg workouts as well. This is the end result. I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer so you guys can see it. It is a second degree tear. This is typically where the pectoral muscles are attached to second degree pec tear. He's later, he got surgery and they told him he can't work out for quite some. And the reason for this, and I actually learned this from Greg Doucette because he was talking about working out with an injury. I, I looked into a lot of things when I got my injury because, like I said, mentally does take a toll on you. I was looking into cross-education. Now, what cross-education is, it's when you work out one side of your, of your body and then it still holds on to the muscle fibers on the other side. Ever so slightly, one arm or one muscle group is gonna be bigger than the other, but it does happen. So after that six week period where I was only working out my legs and I was uh, still doing cardio and things like that, by the way, I did not lose 10 kilograms of muscle. All right, buddy? Call, call, call bullshitter when I see you, bullshitter. After that, I started doing cross education and about three months in, I was able to do very light chest exercises with progressive overload with some weight with some strain on there so i'm going to show you a video of how i look like before my like right before my injury this is what i look like pre pec injury on a calorie deficit while taking anabolic steroids and i'm going to show you a video of what i look like right after around I was just starting to work out, you know, upper body again, chest exercises I wasn't really doing, but I'll show you it. And this is what I look like post pec tear on TRT. And as you can see, I still kept some shape, even though I wasn't weight training hard. So as you can see, obviously I still look like I'm in good shape. I was still in the gym. I was still working out, still doing my thing. So yeah, I'm sorry, I don't buy it. I agree with Greg on this one. This guy's a fake natty in my personal opinion. He didn't do it right. And that's how we're calling it. But that's it for today, guys. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. And until next time, I am out of here. Ciao.